So the website you want to go to for uh, regex is regexer. This is one of the many websites. Um, this is a great tool for ter uh, for 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 testing regular expressions for learning regular expressions there's tons of tutorials online and pretty much almost every language uses the same syntax for regular expressions and you'll find that that later in the semester uh, they're very useful for parsing stuff because a lot of Java string functions accept regular expressions so I'm just saying while you have the time you should try it um, it's 15 points added to your assignment grades so which is nice. And finally, there's big O exercises. Um, this is not a programming assignment. This is a math assignment because, because um, we learn about big uh, O notation this semester. Now, this, now unlike other uh, classes like Math Concept 2 where you do learn uh, the formal definition of of um, big O notation and um, algorithm, you know, and yeah, I was just going to say, I just finished 2166. Do I have to go over the lectures for a big O? Um, probably not. This is, be, but 2166 is not a prereq for this class. So yeah. what we're going for here is less of a mathematical definition and more of a feel and understanding. Uh, I hate to use the term, but it's more of a gut kind of thing. Uh, here yeah. To, to go. Uh, so here, it's reducing these down figuring out why things are and, and here we're trying to explain using words and not uh, versus proofs if that makes sense yeah okay um now the with this one um yeah these all have assignments and point values what i would like you to do is to fill this out um but as you're filling it out feel free to ask me if it's correct, won't tell you the correct answer, but I'll tell you whether or not you got it correct. That makes sense. I'll tell you if you got a wrong answer. Okay. So I don't. I so I would expect. So the goal is everybody should get a hundred on this, right? Because I do want everybody to. Because if you get a big red. Oh, you have Bogo sort in there. Yeah, it's it's a requirement. Duh! It's it's, it's a duh. It's a requirement. It's a uh, algorithms. I love Bogo sort. Mm -hmm. So there are two out for so for those of you not in the know. Um, oh, that was a whoa! What's going on with my video? That was weird. So, for those of you not in the know, uh, Bogo Bogo sort and Stooge sort are the two algorithms that are used in. Um, they aren't used anywhere else. They are just used in classes for in, in classes that uh, just to kind of teach because they're terrible okay so um the last part of this by the way is to do is to for all the methods you wrote in the second lab so the array list assignment to analyze those and figure out what their big o uh, runtime is okay so um and that's my third series of lectures and once we we do that, we can start getting into the more interesting stuff, and I'm choose, figuring out which of these to choose. Um, once we finish solitaire encryption, or do the rest of this problem, depending on what we ch choose, that will be the time to start getting ready for our first exam, which will be an online exam, and I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do that for the summer semester to account for the fact that we've got an accelerated pace. It may just be a take-home exam. It may be a proctored exam. I'm still trying to figure that out. So, all right. So, um, let me go ahead and stop sharing because that's pretty much everything I have for that. Now, this is split up into both a lab period and a lecture period, but because I've done the, uh, the, um, you know, since I've done the work of, of recording the lectures and flipping the class, essentially the this entire class is a four-hour lab block. Um, and you guys are, you know, we're, we, I am, we, you know, you can work on your stuff. You can get up, get yourself some breakfast if you need to, you know, um, so, did anybody work on this assignment any any further 
Uh, yeah, I finished it. You finished it. Excellent. Yep. How how high were you able to get? I was able to get uh, at the highest a ninety two percent. All right, and uh, what? And um, how long did it take you? An hour. An hour. So not too bad. Not at all. All right. So, um, and did you? And what strategy did you use? The I used the I uh, the site mechanic. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'll be happy to um, take a look at your assignment. I'm going to try. So I'm going to try this out. I'm going to create a break room um, so that I can demo uh, for demoing it. And let's see. So, Alan, right? Give me a moment. I'm going to uh, switch it so that I am I. I'm going to disconnect from my main computer so that I can uh, switch to my laptop. No worries. Um, does anybody else want to demo their assignment? Yeah. Oh, uh, sure. Okay. Yeah, same. I worked with Alan on mine. Oh, okay. Great. I was in the breakout room with him. And then is does anybody want to be split up into sep into breakout rooms with uh, with anybody else? Um, um you know, you can ask. I figure I'm I'm trying something else here rather than trying to um, rather than separating everybody. I figure let's use the chat function over here. If you want to, uh, if you want to ask me something privately, I'll assign us to a breakout room for an aside. How does that sound, everybody? Sure. <laughs> mm hmm. Or do you people feel more comfortable being in breakout rooms in pairs? Really, I want to know what what you guys feel is best. It's very different for me. Um, I I was gonna say on the other side of the desk, but mm -hmm. yeah, definitely want you to work with the same person. So okay. If if Anya and I could be in the same breakout room because we were partnered up uh, yesterday as well. Definitely. Okay. So I will go ahead and start assign. So I'll assign you and your partner together. Okay. And that's this is easy to do because there's only twenty people. You know. So I'll go ahead and open all those rooms. Um. So okay. I'm ready to demo whenever you're ready. Okay, great. So I'll be back into this room in a bit. So, all right, join. Oh, and, oh, do I need, oh, okay. I can assign like this breakout room one, boom, and join. And who, oh, who else is ready to demo? Sorry. Nick, you said? Yes. Okay. I'll and uh, I think Sean. Sean? Were you ready to demo as well? Oh, uh, I wasn't ready. Oh, okay. Who said they else said they were ready to demo? Oh, that was me with oh, Alan. Oh, be. Okay. Yeah. My bad. Okay. I'll send you to there as well. Might as well put everybody who's demoing uh, together. So I've invited you to the to the uh, room. Uh. All right. So Alan, let me see what you've. So, um, in the words of Rick and Morty, show me what you got. <laughs> okay. So I have on the screen my code for the rabbit class. So you are going with five. So you're going. So I see. So you're trying each of the moves. First, uh, okay, so you're looking. So first, I'm, I'm looking in each direction to see whether I see the fox. Right, and then you've got a specific order. Rather than breaking it down into if statements, you uh, individual if statements, you have a loop um, with yeah. orders. Yeah. Since, that's... I, since I know what order I want to try them in, I might as well make it into a, a single loop instead of all of those ifs. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, either way is good. Um, I suppose, I mean, it really just depends on the person. I figured this way was less typing. Yeah. 
it might be my um let's see so you do diagonal so you do five three two six so you do your so so describe what those numbers are rather than me describing so, it for you so first it tries the backwards diagonal uh-huh and then it tries straight left and right. Mm -hmm. Then it tries forwards diagonal. And then if all of that is blocked, then it tries moving straight backwards. And if that's blocked, it moves straight forwards. Running headlong into the jaws of death. Yep. Why, why prolong its suffering, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if, if it somehow wound up in a, in a pit with, you know, it was surrounded on seven of the eight sides... Uh, yeah, and there, you're going to lose sometimes just simply because the rabbit's going to be pure unlucky. Yeah. All right. So, um, so go. So I see that you've uh, you've run it on there for the greater. Um, can you go ahead and so can you? So have you have you experimented with the um, the order? Yes. Yeah. And what order found? What, so what order was bad? Uh, the three five actually. Do you have any idea why that might be? Uh, well, I know that the fox goes uh, north first and then clockwise. So I haven't worked out all of the fine details, but it's probably something to do with that. It probably is. Um, I mean, five five is an anti-clockwise direction or counterclockwise rather, and so if you're moving in, so. If your fox is turning in the same direction you're you're trying to dodge it, that seems to end very poorly. Yeah. The thing is, though, that when I switch the other uh, directions... Six the, and two? Uh, when I switch six and two, it goes down. Hmm. Well, parallel doesn't necessar isn't necessarily as bad. Because parallel, you're moving away. And again, you're trying to move out of the fox's line of sight here. So, um, let's go ahead and run it and see, uh, run the rabbit hunt and see how, how he actually performs. Okay. Uh, let me just switch over to this yep. one. Run this one. Oh, I probably have to redo the screen share because I was sharing the particular yep, I window. Just see a, I just see a black screen right now. No worries. Okay. Uh, I'll uh, sure. just do... Show Pete, is there anything you want to add to this? Uh, yeah, I tried doing it the other way at first with like running like separate for loops. I was just having like, I was just running into trouble. I knew that the fox would like go around clockwise towards the outside first. Mm -hmm. But if it sees you directly in its line of sight, like if you're just unlucky with the placement of the bushes or whatever, like I, I knew that I had to go like backwards diagonal at some point. Towards the, I believe it's numbers. Uh, hold on one sec. I'm just trying to remember. Go ahead and run it. Zero, one, two, three, four. It would be number five. So that was like. Uh, this is going to be a losing one, probably. I knew number five would have to be like. Oh, yeah. uh, placed first, in my opinion. But then I like, I experimented with that a little bit and then realized like number, like. <clears throat> whatever so backwards diagonal would definitely have to be like the first one that goes in because it would be the one most directly away from the fox's line of sight mm -hmm. if that makes sense yeah this is a winning one as well yep. because it's got it's got plenty of space and plenty of blockage mm -hmm. this is this yeah. one, this is a great situation for it all right so no, you're using KDE on um, what version of Linux? Manjaro? Yep. Yeah. I typically I my my operate my Linux of choice and operating system of choice to be frank is uh, Pop OS. Hmm, haven't tried that one. It's very aesthetically pleasing, but for most part I'm using Windows because sometimes I get recording issues with OBS yeah. and yeah. I can't really use this in Linux. Hmm. It's always the problem. It's why I haven't fully switched over. There are th some things that just don't run in Linux. I dual boot. 
a dual boot and a lot of stuff and so much more stuff works than it used to true and to be honest i could do all my work on linux but i pref but but for production and cl eh, stuff it's i use windows and i'll probably set up windows uh subsystem for linux all right let's see so we've got so so that was a 95 when you ran it so that is a 115 out of 20 because you got 20 points for demoing this time and then uh, and then your score was a 95 so and that was for show Pete as well okay and Nick it's your turn my turn so let's go ahead and I'm gonna stop screen sharing for you yeah and then Nick go ahead and all right so this is my code it's uh, a bit longer than uh, y'all's um but i i uh essentially use the can i see the folks can i not see the folks and how far is the folks away from me mm -hmm. sort of thing um and then i i um, made a sort of calculation over here as to which direction it was and then where in, in with that calculation where do i move can I move? Um, and then I would turn that direction uh, or else uh, I make a random move. Okay. Yeah. So, and that w works 86% of the time. Yeah, but it, it changes like, yeah. Well, guess not. <laughs> well, what we can do is that we can go to greater. Mm-hmm. And we can um, up, yeah, you've already upped it to 3,000 trials, so that's yeah. going to be pretty mm -hmm. constant. Mm -hmm. All right, so that will be a 93, so plus 20, so 113. Okay, so Nicholas Lamb. Okay, great. Also, I was wondering how how um, what font you were using that made the uh, shortcuts that like equals equals made a longer equals and stuff like that. Um, I th I think he said it Fira, was. I put it in chat. Fear a code. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I, I I changed. I thought I changed. Um. The... Um. Go. Yeah. Go to settings. So. The ah, what's that thing? Oh, there it is. Okay. So go to your. Ah uh, no, that you're that you're just using the. So you're using Fira code for the, uh, for the Windows editor. Oh, okay. For the adjust. So for the so go to the font. So just type in yeah, ty yeah. It's easy if you use the search settings. So now mm. you can select. Fira code. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. And now click enable font and ligatures. Oh, makes sense. Okay. And okay. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. No worries. All right. I'm going to head back to the regular room. Uh, Professor, I wanted to um, talk to you about something. So mm -hmm. I'm currently in Singapore taking your class. Oh, that is um, what kind of, so what time is it in Singapore? It's 9 p.m. 9 p.m. So it's a 12 hour difference. Mm -hmm. It's not. Yes. Uh, so that's, well. I hmm. just wanted you to keep that in mind when um, uh, deciding the, the final exam. Um, well, well, you're not the, fortunately, you're not the first student uh, who I've had to work with with extreme time differences. Um, mm -hmm. You know, with the COVID-19 outbreak, I guess you had to travel back home for the COVID-19 outbreak? Yes, yes. Yeah, so the... Um, a lot of students had to do that, um, and just simply, um, what I would, you know, just it basically, if you can attend, then attend. If things are, if it gets like way too late or something, I'll totally understand. Yeah. Um, but yeah. as far as exams go, just let me know. Like mm -hmm. I'll set the exam up and let me know, like whether or not it will. Um, that time will work for you. I, we can always set up an alternate time. Okay. For the exam. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Time time differences are no issue if you let me know that they might be an issue. So. Yeah, that's that's why I'm I'm telling you now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Um, the only other thing is that makes it that is, that that is challenging with it is um, the remote control feature, because when you do that on somebody who's halfway across the world, there tends to be a, di a bit of typing lag, and that gets really oh, yeah. annoying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do not understand. It is hard to appreciate until you do it. How difficult it is to type when it's there's like a second difference between when you hit the key and when it appears. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like using an old iPhone or something. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go back to the main room. Uh, okay. You, and good. feel free to do that as well if you want to. to. Or actually, I'm going to go and check out the other room. <sighs> Break out. All right. So does anybody else want to be moved into a into a room to work? If you were saying something, you were muted. Oh. Mm. I said, does anybody else want to be moved into a breakout room? Laser, what did you want? You wanted the plane? Oh. Yeah, you can have the plane. What? Can I demo? I'm sorry, I'm a little late on the demo. Sure. Sure, I'll invite you to, um, I'll move you to breakout room one. Okay, thanks. Did you have anybody you wanted to... muted. Did you have anyone else you wanted to demo with? Uh, no. Okay. Breakout room one. So, quick question. So, we still have to turn in the um, rabbit file, right? Yes, but I've already, yeah. but I've already assigned your grade, but that's just in case it doesn't take. Although it should, because I'm not on Wi-Fi. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I think the propeller is pressing it down. All right. Can you turn the propeller? Um, uh, yeah. Oh, one last thing. I have a meeting at 10 o'clock, and I'm not going to leave this class for the meeting. But I am going to, uh, but, I, there, but I might just simply clue, uh, clue in there to tell them, hi, I'm teaching a class, can't be at the meeting. So. Hello. So, um, basically I kind of expanded upon like what we did yesterday, mm -hmm. um, and added more directions and. Uh, seem to get like a 89% escape rate. That's good. So what did you, and you tried five rather than three first? Yeah, I've get, I was getting more success doing five first. I went through like all the options and I was getting most success doing five, three, seven, one. Mm -hmm. All right. So why don't you go ahead and run the rabbit hunt itself? Sure. Um, um, and also, I, I take it you tried to change the font to Fira code? Yeah. So go to settings. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm blocked. Okay. So go to settings. Uh, uncheck use custom font. Okay. Okay. Hit apply. That's for the appearance of the editor itself. Uh, type in font in the search bar. Okay. okay, and now uh, now go to, uh, oh, okay. yeah, oh, so okay. now you can switch, so go ahead and switch to Fira Code, and click the Enable Font lig Ligature checkbox. Oh, okay. Awesome, okay. There you go. Thank you. You, you, you are, you are literally the second person I've helped today with that, so don't worry. <laughs> It, it looked really cool, and yeah, I wanted to do it. So, um, mm -hmm. does the does this pop up? Probably not. No, no, no. Unfortunately, okay. you got to share Let me. me. Yeah. Um. Oh, can you see it now? <clears throat> mm hmm. I'm about to get a phone call for two-factor authentication. It is not actually a phone call. Okay. <laughs>
it is it is temples say, telling me to log in gotcha okay yep go ahead and run it Okay, it's, it can be a challenging one for the rabbit, but we'll see what happens. It's always challenging yeah. when he starts up. Up, up against the wall. Mm-hmm. Okay, at least, at least he wasn't looking at the wall. That would kind of suck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The way to, so the way to get a higher, so the way you get to a higher score mm -hmm. is, um, is the um is to basically um if you don't see the fox take a look at where you uh take a look at how far you are from the wall and if you're like on the wall or you know very close to it you move away from the wall okay so distance from wall yeah use distance from wall to give yourself a bit more running space all right and like, should you do that with bushes too, or just the wall? I mean, you can do it with bush, just the wall. I would say. Okay. That, but I mean, that's if you want to get a higher score. This is a pretty good score as it is. What was it? Um. So the I'll run the grader real quick. Yeah. Hmm. So eighty six, yeah. ninety two. Yep, that's what I've been seeing from a lot of students. It's a very is, is, how was this assignment? Did you enjoy it? Um, I mean, when you went over it yesterday, I realized I was, I guess, putting a lot more into it than I needed, I guess. Because, I mean, my, half my, um, yeah. this half is my a, rabbits commented out now. <laughs> well, so this is going to be a recurrent theme. This is going to be a recurrent theme for the class. Things look a lot harder than they actually are. Yeah. Um. It is very, it is very, very um, easy to do. Um, so it's very, very, very easy to. Sorry, things. Sorry, things are a lot easy. I'm listening to my son, and it's and I got tied no Um Things are a lot easier. They seem to be a bit harder, but they turn out to be less effort uh if you actually sit down and think about them first yeah all right i'm going to go ahead and rejoin the main room okay mm. all right so i am back does anybody need some any individual help um me a little bit okay i have a few questions all right. Do you want to share your screen here, or do you want to share it, um, or do you want to go to a separate room? Um, I can just share it here. It's just going to be a bit, mum, like cluttered. If that's that's okay. fine. I'm. Um, let me go ahead and enable and enable all participants to share. Okay. There you go. Feel free to share it. Okay. So, I this this code was just in case like. If the thing was in a corner, I wanted it to move out. But I tried putting that sort of in here where in the mm -hmm. possible directions it could go. If it was going to go into a corner, it would not choose that way. Because I noticed that every time it got near a corner, it would end up always getting killed. Yes. So, so here is my suggestion to you. First off. Do you keep your look around for the fox and if you see the fox return a bad move. But if so but outside out but outside of the for loop what you want to do is so and, and by the way just looking for the fox and dodging should get you to that as you can see 86% rate. Um if you want to get higher what you should do is you should look at um once you are done looking for the fox and don't see him, if you don't see him this turn, figure out how far you are from the walls. And if you're like right up next against the wall, move away from it. Okay. Right. And if you're, and if you're right up against two walls, then move diagonally away from it. Okay. Does that, does that help? Yeah. So for the, I should let the thing move and then the next turn check 
if it is near a wall and then have it no, move same, away? Or? All the same turn. All the same turn. All the same turn. Right. Okay. So inside this, so you have this for loop where you're looking around and then you have this other for loop in it. Remove that other for loop and get it outside of that for, you know, that shouldn't be this part? Yeah. No, 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 no. The for, that should be outside of the other for loop. Should be outside. Okay. Right. Or actually, hold on. Um, are you using a Mac or Windows? Mac. Press Command A. Press Command I. It's been pressed. Okay. So it didn't do anything. So your code is indented. So um, you have a four. So you have fox in. So where you have the comment fox in sight, far or not near bush. Right? Yeah. I had to try to hide around the bush also. Ah, uh, okay. That's where it might be a bit more complicated. So. Um, I would just simply look for the fox right now and not try to take into account any terrain, okay? okay? And then outside, have a separate for loop where you're trying to figure out what the terrain is, right? If you see the fox, that's an emergency. You need to move away as best you can. If you don't see the fox, you can correct and try to get out of the way. Okay. Make sense? Yes. Thank you. All right. So normally what I do in an actual class is I go around from one person to another and start bugging them about uh, how the how the code is working. But um, then I'm only interrupting one person at a time as opposed to five. So um, let's see. Oh, I have a chat function. I can do that. Could you like run it and uh, tell me? You know, for some reason, it like doesn't really compile on mine. Gotcha. Hi there. Oh. Hello. Hi, professor. Hi. Can I help you guys? Uh, right now we're just figuring stuff out. We've managed to lower the rapids escape probability, hey, but uh, we're if, working on which it. Which is great if you're the fox. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Mind if I take a take a take a stab at it with you guys? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Do you mind if I full screen this? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's easier for me to work there. So, if can see. Fa All right. So let's go ahead and just keep this. Yeah. So first off, this predator code down here will uh -huh. will mm -hmm. this will make it wander, which is something you definitely don't want to do. Okay. So 
you don't want to wander because you don't want to accidentally move into the line of sight of the fox. That will make you, that will hurt. Because mm -hmm. staying still, so, sorry, you know, you know the old expression, the only winning move is not to play, right? Yeah. All right, so don't play the fox's game. Um, right, so if we take this out, we'll, let's see, running it actually helps significantly. Yeah. So, um, right, so you don't need to keep any, so really all you have to do is be reactive. You don't need any memory. Running away mm -hmm. or dodging is easy. The, the fo what the fox has to do is hard. Right, yeah. so maybe instead, all right, and by the way, the good answers to this are very short, or you can get up to 90, you can get an 86% uh, rate for this with very, very little code. Oh. Like, you don't need much over here, and this is, this is a very big reoccurring theme in my class where things look complicated and need a hard solution. But they really don't. Simple stuff is. So let's. So I'm gonna just copy this. So basically, what you've been doing is saying, "Hey, uh, if I see the fox, dodge, dodge back into the right." Now I'm gonna say, "Add." Well, if I can't dodge back into the right, I'm just gonna dodge to the back into the left. All mm -hmm. right. Now run this. And you see it goes up significantly. So, oh. so try iterating through your different options. But also, and this is very important, you want to change up the the order in which you try these things. Because, mm -hmm. and I'm going to let go right now, the order, the fox has certain biases as to like which way he'll turn first when he's wandering. So you want to experiment and find out if uh, which, bi which bias you want to try to exploit. Or what direction exploits that bias without necessarily knowing what it is. So, um, my my suggestions are try going back and away from the fox first, and mm -hmm. one direction doing first is better than another direction going first. So you want so you want to try that. Then after that, you want to try dodging parallel to the fox, right? So that would be two and six, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then. Okay, if you can't go, if you can't go back into the sides and you can't go, and you, if you can't go sideways, well, I mean, if he's not too close to you, going diagonal and towards him isn't actually all that bad if he's pretty far away from you. Because you'll still be in his cone. And otherwise, if you, if you're, if it's a choice, otherwise, go, go directly away and see if that helps any. And if you can't, and if, and if basically you have trapped yourself in a quarter and can't move any direction, then uh, just run towards the jaws of death. Don't, or stay still. All right, does that help elaborate this? Yeah, it helps a lot, Professor. Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay, now you can get into the 86 percentile range doing that. Once you do, want to get any like to the 90 high 90s, what you need, you also need to do is start accounting for the wall. Mm. So you're losing the 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 rabbit loses most often when he starts on a wall or close to it. So outside, so you've got this for loop. Um, and this is for optimization. If you want to go even higher, I would. Um, and that just depends on your comfort level of what you want to do or what you. Um, it. What I would. So once you do this, what you do, what you can do if you want to pu push up your grade even higher which it's only going to be a couple of points because of diminishing returns, all right, is going to be um, basically ask yourself, okay, I don't see the fox because my I, did, I went through that loop and I didn't return. So now I'm going to look around and ask how far I am from a wall. Mm -hmm. And if I'm right up against the wall, maybe I should move away from it. Oh. Um, Make sense? Okay. Yeah. So it would be a second loop, and it, and what you'd be doing in saying, 
uh, if look equals model dot wall, and then ask yourself what's the distance to the wall, and if it's zero, and if it's like zero, or one, or what I think it's one. If you're right next to it, then move away from the wall. Mm -hmm. That that makes sense. Because yeah. That way you you're you're not moving very often. You're only moving away to get away from the wall, so that you have room to dodge the fox if you need to. Yeah. Um, so would that be within this for loop no, that we have, it, or it a second be, one? It would be a second for loop, but you don't necessarily need to do it. A very few students actually end up doing that because they find that their survival rate just by dodging is perfectly acceptable. Mm -hmm. But I mentioned that to the rest of the class in the in the who weren't in the breakout room, so I figured I'd mess, me, uh, uh, mention it to you guys. Yeah. Or. Hair. Okay, so how else can I? Um, anything um, I don't have any other questions right now. Anya, do you have any? Uh, no, not right now. Awesome. All right, I will. If you need help, just ask. Mm -hmm. Yep, we will. The breakout room. <laughs> 